Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and if you're new here, my name is Esther Mofri. Today I want to show you or to make you understand what happens when the break, when the structure is broken. Today I want us to learn about break of structure and how to go about it for you to be able to maneuver in the market. This is our DSD. So you need to understand that break of structure is when the market either break resistance, maybe you have resistance like that, the market either breaks this resistance or we have a support and the market breaks support. That's what we call BOS. That is what break of st structure means. So you need to understand that break of structure equals, res equals retest. Once we have break of structure, the market has to retest. But after doing back testing, I've come to realize you need to understand when is the break of structure happening which trend of the market you are in because if you don't need if you don't understand which trend you are in you might wait for retest but the, the retest may be the actual move so today i want you to show i want to show you something that i have discovered and maybe it will help you so this is audio sd we can see very clear that we are on a downtrend so the market has been going down creating lower lows and lower highs, lower lows and lower highs. And now we have a market that has broke structure. We can see this buy, this very big candle has broke structure. So not only it has broke structure around there. So we can see that you have break of structure. This leg, the, the buyers have broke structure. And of course, they have come to this support, the resistance, sorry, they have come to a certain resistance around there and we can if we can pay much close on it it has broken resistance guys this is very very important to understand once break of structure happens the market has to retest so if it was the old me without knowing what i'm about to teach you i would wait for retest of this market i would wait for the retest of this market around this place and then i continue to buy but now I know better. Now I know that I need to understand what was happening before the break of structure. And what is that is what I want to show you guys. That's what I want to show you guys in a few. So before the end of the before the break of this structure, we have the BOS here. Let me write for you BOS. So we have two BOS. We have BOS here, and here we have BOS. If you zoom in. If you zoom in, we have BOS again there. And my mind, this is a trade that I had took uh, before. And I went on losses. But after back testing, I know my mistake. And I know if I would have done better. And now I'm here teaching you guys. Most of the time, because of break of structure, we wait for retest. Many people will wait the market to retest around here. And then for the market to continue to go up because they have break of structure but today i want to show you that you can look at the story of this train we can see that we have break of structure below here so this break of structure makes us not be so quick to go with this bias breaking resistance we need to understand that even sellers broke support and that's where everything changes so when you find that there is break of structure on support we have BOS on support. Once we have BOS on support, of course, where do you think the market will go? Will it complete the BOS? The, will it retrace and continue with the BOS on the resistance? Or will it uh will this be will be this be considered as a retracement because there was break of structure? I want you to understand that once the market is a downtrend, once the market is a downtrend. This alone can be a retracement of that BOS. This alone can be just a retracement. But in this leg, we have break of structure and it has broken resistance twice. So the confusion comes in when the resistance and support has been broken by the same leg. You can see where we are coming from. The support was broken. Where we are, the resistance is broken. So what do you do? For me, what I can tell you is that Using the three entry signal rule, the three entry signal rule is that first we are waiting for the red candle. So in such a case, you'll just come here and, and do the three 
entry signal rule so number one number one is you will wait for a red candle number two we will check if if it's bullish not bullish we'll check if it's bearish engulf and then number three if not if not we do what we do wbb so if you have this in mind if you have this in mind remember the confusion here is we have break of structure both at resistance at, at the support for me what i would advise because this is something that i have seen many many times it's happening if there is break of structure on the support and the market is a downtrend go with the break of structure at the support forget about this for a moment not notice it's not it's not like the market won't will forget that it broke on support, on resistance it will remember so for you what i can tell you do the do three entry signal looking forward to continue to sell because it's better continuation of a trend rather than thinking the market will reverse the market reversing it takes a lot of effort from buyers so what we do here let's wait for red candle so you have a red candle remember everyone here thinks the break of structure it has support and they are waiting for this retracement so we are waiting for wbb to happen so the wbb has not yet happened and now we have wbb remember for me because i had entered this trade um a time back i was waiting for retracement of buy I didn't know that all of this, this leg, it was just a retracement of this BOS on support. So you enter your cell. We are entering cell and we are targeting the leg where the market came from. So you enter cell here and target this leg. Let me show you. You target this leg. That is your first take profit. But we are not forgetting that the market had broke this structure. And I'll show you how they rectify that. To know the actual take profit, that is just take profit one. What if they break this support again? What if this structure now, it is broken? Around here, it is broken. What we do, we will measure this distance. We will measure that distance. And then we bring this box down. The market will go that distance. And because we want to be accurate, you know, most of the time, the market will go halfway. That's what I tell people. Most of the time, the market will go halfway. If they break, if they break our now current support, our current support is around this zone where we have the box. If now they break here, you see where our take profit is? If they break, they come, they break where I have marked the red line, the market will continue to sell. And eventually, it is not a guarantee, it can complete but what i want you to to i want to show you is that the market when it starts to go up it will go to the resistance where the market was broken i hope i'm not losing you i hope you're understanding so let's play and see what happened after that so the market of course it it hit our take profit guys if you are waiting for retracement if you are waiting for retracement to end so that you can get in on a buy there was nothing you are given here you are not given and if you were given you would have lost your money now the market broke this support the market broke support let's see if it touched our half it touched our half you can see we went even in in our half now we want to see what really happened after now they accomplished did they get to the full uh zone at the end there let's see they never touched the zone that's why i'm saying sometimes many people will target this will be their first take profit and they'll say oh i'm a swing trader i will target till the end most of the time they know that so you just target half and you're done with this market for me i would be done with this market and what i'll be looking is a rejection i'll be looking a rejection of sale and this is where the this buy the break of structure is coming uh to here remember once my zone the center is is touched even if it is broken i'm waiting to see 
break of structure. We can see here we have break of structure. You can see here we have break of structure. Very clearly, like buyers were unable to break structure there and the market eventually they broke. So we are waiting to see break of structure to start thinking of buying. So we had break of structure with this two candle, one, two, three, and then retracement was over. If we did WBB, the box, where would we put our box on this green, first green candle and we got our, our WBB entry. If you enter this trade, guess where you are targeting your take profit? This resistance. So that is something that I have come to see. Many people don't understand what the market does. The market will always manipulate. And then your stop loss can be this, uh, that low. So that if they try to come and accomplish that, you will not be stopped out. So where is our take profit? All the way to where the break of structure happened. So this is where our take profit is. That's where our take profit is. So this trade, the buyers here, now the, the market makers or whoever controls the market knows that people forgot about this break of structure. Now it happens very fast around this place. And before you know it, the market, your market is going to, to hit your take profit. It may take time, but without knowing the market hits, it hits that zone so guys what i'm trying to tell you is that once you have two break of structure at resistance and at support i would highly suggest you go with the trend so at at support if the market is trending downside will go this is what they will accomplish first and then don't forget on what will happen the second time so i hope that was clear if it was not clear you can rewind this video you can watch multiple times for you to understand but whenever you see a break of structure don't think oh bos equals retest think uh, at the support has did we have break of structure if it is at support at resistance did we have break of structure and if you have break of structure on support on resistance now you know what to do thank you so much for watching until next